praise the name of the Lord. Mm. I tell you, I sense a very strong impartation that is about to happen. But I have to give you these three keys. Activating the gift of sight. What does it take to activate this blessing? Nizambika. Ah. Nizambika. Kainegaskia. Nizambika. I want to hand to you now. I want to show you how to activate the seeing eye. Number one, praying in the spirit. Write it down. There is nobody who invests quality, consistent time praying in the spirit who will not receive this gift of the seeing eye. Whether you misuse it or not is another thing. But as far as seeing is concerned, it is a grace that goes with praying. Show me a man that has committed himself to the ministry of prayer. I show you a seer indeed. Praying in the spirit. And when you begin to pray, the spirit of God starts to search the mind of the father and downloads for you the things that eyes have not seen the things that ears have not heard the things that have not come into the heart of any man invest time praying and see what happens to your dreams and visions invest time praying and see what happens to your creativity and intelligence and your imagination invest time praying and see what happens to you as far as the capacity to draw insight from the world. Invest time praying and you will show me, I will show you the prophetic activations that happen in your life. Hallelujah. Can I tell you? A worship minister who only sings and does not pray, when they sing, you will know the difference. You will know that this person is just singing. I don't care how nice the voice is. You will know this person is just ad leaping and just singing. There is a stability that your prayer life gives every other thing you do. A businessman who prays, the difference will be clear. A career person who prays, the difference will be clear. A man of God who studies scripture and prays, the difference will be clear. A worshiper who prays, when he sings, the difference will be clear. There are many people who raise songs and you almost feel irritated. You're like, please just finish and go. Because there is no presence. There is a sound that your prayer life gives everything that you do. You cannot fake a genuine prayer life. It's not by the huskiness of your voice. Uh -uh. There is a presence, there is a stamina, there is a confidence, a stability that comes from within your spirit. For someone, God is fanning your prayer altar. Ah, you need it. You need it. You need it. It is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Yes, sir. 
you want to do end time ministry five minutes prayer ten minutes prayer save johnny you will reverse by yourself in shame you want to see you must learn to pray generate energy as you pray in the spirit yes sir male and female educated or otherwise when it has to do with the gift of sight ladies and gentlemen it is connected to a rich consistent discipline of the prayer ministry there are many people is in the place of prayer that certain melodies will come in the spirit you will start hearing sounds you will write them it's in the place of prayer that certain sermons that were not even rehearsed scriptures will come to you it is in the place of prayer that the 10 year plan of your destiny will be downloaded sometimes you will pray till you fall asleep that sleep was not slumber it was adam's kind of sleep because something needs to come out of you Ladies and gentlemen, laziness in the area of prayer is a cancer that would destroy many Christians. You must obtain grace by the Spirit to be a man and a woman of consistent prayer. I'm talking of moments where you invest quality time. You are not asking, not tea, not bread. You are just traveling. It's a cruise in the Spirit and the flesh may be weak but you are still gaining ascendance you will hit an escape velocity in the spirit and the heavens are open and you will start receiving things something happens to your mind something happens to your understanding of scripture do you believe what I'm sharing with you listen if you are not filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in fluent tongues well i'm praying you receive that impartation but you see one of the reasons why we designed our prayer department is an opportunity there are people who have been trained mighty anointed men and women who will administer the baptism the baptism of the holy spirit is not for pentecostals it is not for charismatics it is one of the manifestations of the hidden wisdom of god he said but we speak this wisdom among them that are mature not the wisdom of this world that comes to not nor of the princes of this world he calls it the hidden wisdom of god that was ordained for our glory he said you shall receive power acts 1 8 in acts chapter 2 they receive tongues there is a relationship between that which you utter in the spirit and the opening of your eyes and the gift of sight is someone learning the generation that knows how to pray with understanding will be a seen generation indeed tremendous insight in ministry tremendous creativity by the spirit number two very quickly activating the gift of sight what is the second key meditation meditation rich moments where you meditate upon the word of god and then meditate upon scripture based resources you can meditate upon the word of god but you can meditate upon scripture based resources like sermons like materials that are word compliant it will prime your creativity you can be reading a leadership book and see one line leadership is about transforming followers to leaders and leaders to agents of change you will stop there the psalmist will often say sila pause and think about it most people do not understand meditation meditation is not witchcraft i'm not talking about this devilish thing that people do to meditate means to think and to ponder using the power of imagination what is god saying there are times that i sit quietly with worship playing and i'm saying holy spirit breathe upon my mind what are you saying now and sometimes it will take a while before his voice comes in that silence here it comes 
this is what koinonia must do for the next season this is the series i want you to step into these are the anointings i'm releasing in this season when we look like we are mighty it is simply because of the advantage of the power of sight the grace to see ahead of time yeah. hey, hey, hey. Meditation. You open your scripture, you read, and you begin to meditate. Let worship play. Lord, what is the next thing about my life? And sometimes you need to be still. Then you will know that he is God. There is a kind of knowledge that follows stillness. Be still. And then you will know. Miracle service is next week Sunday. Part of the ways that I prepare for the miracle service. Is not just to pray. Sometimes I'm lying down and a dense atmosphere of worship and I'm quiet. Your majesty, speak. What do you want to do in the lives of your people? What is your emphasis for the people? Don't ever assume with God it will cost you. Always stay and say, Lord, what are you saying? Speak for your servant here. And sometimes he will open your eyes and give you insight into what he's doing that there will be people who will come for that miracle service who have been tied down by spirits and you will see it and you will say when you get there don't just do what you want to do become a voice of deliverance hallelujah you believe in this sometimes it's in the place of meditation i told you that's how the song breathe came that's how this song in fact this song i think i hope i'm right on that i think it came in the place of worship just worshiping and then this chance come in the spirit by the spirit of the living god and your life becomes a sign and a wonder first to you and then everyone around you ladies and gentlemen practice meditation sometimes as a businessman shut everything around you and sit down there has to be a way out spirit of the living god what is the next five years going to look like what is the next 10 years in this industry going to look like ah then the one who gives you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places he comes to you in that stillness he breathes upon you and reveals to you the next 10 years reveals to you the next 20 years there were many things that we had the opportunity to do as a ministry but every time i went to the lord he would just be silent over it or he will say it's not yet time and i said that's it this is your ministry this is your vision no matter how uncommon and unusual it is if you say it is not time it is not time someone called me one time and said apostle do you have an idea of people who have been writing books in your names books that have almost sold five star ratings across several platforms i said that is wrong so why don't you just quickly write and i go to him your majesty no it is not your time the foolishness of seeing will make you a champion mysteriously so you will do things that are unusual but with them will come power and transgenerational impact hallelujah praise the name of the lord this is how god has helped us as a ministry this is how god has helped many who have learned sensitivity please write it meditation meditation you can get sometimes word-based confessions sometimes you can get scriptures on tape designated scriptures are, are along certain areas and just allow them play sometimes it's worship like the strings playing like this and you're just soaking in that glory 
When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. Sing it one time. When the glory comes, when the blood comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, my dear people, let me teach you a secret. Every time you are granted the opportunity to go and minister, don't just stand up and write songs blindly and go and stand and start singing. It's in that secret place. The Spirit of God can arrange songs, songs that you have forgotten. This song connects to this. This one connects to this. When you now have the opportunity to minister, you will come up with a, an arrangement that will so impact the spirit of the listeners how did you join this song with this one it came in the place of meditation in the stillness when you stay with the spirit destinies are altered you will hear sounds in the spirit God will tell you this plus this is what equals this as a businessman once you stay meditating here he comes this is the next phase of what the world is doing go ahead of them by doing this one and doing that one. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, when the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. The third and final way you activate the gift of sight is through impartation. And that's what you're about to receive. Yes, sir. It is a grace that can be imparted. Ephesians 3, 9. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh. I want you to please read aloud the first six words that you see. Count them in your mind before you read. The first six words. Are you ready? One to read, please. And to make all men see. One more time. One more time. There is a grace that can make not some men, all men see. All men can see depending on the grace that rests on them. All men may not see visions, but all men can have dreams. Many can have visions. All men can have access to supernatural insight of scripture. All men can have insight to creativity and intelligence at an extraordinary scale. And all men can have access to prophetic activations. The word of knowledge seen in the spirit. Extraordinary supernatural experiences. This is the heritage of the saints. And within the next two to five minutes, as instructed by the Spirit of God, I want to impart this grace. I told you there is a gift that God wants to give someone. To make all men see. To make all men see their future. To 
to make all men see what God is saying to make all men see his program to make all men see where their wealth is just because everybody is running there you may run there and your wealth is not there to make all men see what business to do to make all men see what dimension of ministry you have been called into to make all men see where your helpers are Esther to make all men see where Ahasuerus is Naomi to make all men see where Boaz is to see where your victory is I want to pray for you from the depth of my heart I'm not wasting your time your life will change remarkably believe me remarkably can I tell you the gift of sight will also let you see where the problem is it can show you where the problem is this backwardness in this family where is it what is the root of this tragedy that has tied down men tied down women tied down great people it is not only to see the future you can see the origin of tragedies and to correct them who seen that this man was born blind himself or his father and jesus said neither and those who are following online you are about to receive something miraculous and marvelous miraculous and marvelous the gift of sight the seeing eyes he said blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear from this night may that grace rest upon you now 
restoration of dreams, restoration of prophetic dreams, restoration of visions in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I want to pray for you. Your imagination, your creativity, after the order of Bezalel, after the order of Uzziah, in the name of Jesus, extraordinary ideas, extraordinary concepts, begin to see them now. Begin to see them now. The ideas connected to your world, Begin to see them now. What's that song? Another measure. Sing it for me. Shaleka Another measure. Another measure. Upon your life, upon your ministry, receive it in the name of Jesus. I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus what you have never seen in scripture I open your eyes to begin to see it I open the eyes of your understanding unusual insights into scripture receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need of the revelatory gifts of the spirit to be activated the word of knowledge the word of wisdom the gift of prophecy i decree and declare anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you i stretch my hands receive a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now Adonai you have entered because of spiritual blindness every mistake you have made some of you are in financial troubles now 
because of the bankruptcy of sight some of you may be in marital crisis right now some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now in the name of Jesus I invoke the mercy of God come out of that situation now come out of that situation now a miracle service is next week but please allow me to speak over your finances there is something your eyes needs to see I want to pray for you can I tell you this listen your wealth is not everywhere don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon you will get into trouble until you deplete yourself just because he's working for others does not mean it will work for you you have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you I'm about to pray for you some of you will see it in dreams some of you will see it in visions some of you will have prophetic confirmations but I stand by prophecy wherever your financial resources will come from I gravitate you towards that area I gravitate you towards that area I gravitate you towards that area in the name of Jesus Christ everybody here who is a leader or you are in ministry in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you the eyes to see beyond just a 2020 vision let it be imparted upon you I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart may nothing take you on unawares again I say it again may nothing take you on unawares that before it happens by the power of sight may you see it so that if you have to stop it you stop it from happening and if you have to allow it then you allow it happen hear me by the gift of sight you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you let me repeat it again you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you God that you have watched this message and you have listened to the apostle and I want you to encourage yourself in the prayer that you have offered and the prophecy that I've released upon your life that it will come to pass and I want you to still come back again because there are a lot of messages that will change your life and will always transform you God bless you if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this channel continue to pray for the person also.